is it really the red rate that Biden won and Trump lost? Hi folks, Gabor speaks. And this is the question that, that I have been thinking about a lot these days. Now, I was genuinely sad when the ties were turning from the victory of Trump towards the victory of Biden. And I was thinking, why? Why is that? You see, there is on one side Biden, who is becoming, well, quite frankly, retarded. That she he is not going to be capable of ruling, maybe. There is a possibility, there is a chance. Versus a guy that is a clown of his uh, political party, the clown of whole USA. So this is the choice that the Americans faced. And if I had been an American, I would have just voted like I voted in Hungary. That is, I, I would have just cast a vote that is not valid, so an invalid vote. Because I'm not voting for lesser, lesser evil. You know, if something is evil, then I just don't vote for it. That's it, period. This is how I think about it. <clears throat> but still, I had some sympathy for the old man. Uh, there were two old men, so I, I mean Trump here. Because that guy was somehow different. You know, not this well-groomed, super-political, eloquent liar. He was a very unsophisticated liar, you know, that's, that was really refreshing. That guy who just says what he thinks, even though it was very well constructed, is he here still seemed to say what he thinks and he really frank he was really frank about things and saying things like shithole countries and you know just pissing people off to the left to the right everywhere and this is uh, was so refreshing contrary to this pc culture that is just yeah blowing my mind up wow so yeah he lost and for me he represented a bit of America, a bit that is that we rarely see, you know, this self-made man who is earning a lot of money and making millions, has his own channels and he doesn't really need any more money, so he's not really bound for that. He just wants to be the president and he wants to show the world that I can do this. And this is somehow very American. Okay, he was also quite dumb, and that's the same. That's actually quite, quite, quite American too. Well, dumb in a European way, as in doesn't really know much about uh, about books. You know, like not not so well read probably. But he has something. This can do attitude. This can do attitude that is <clears throat> that brings a new, a different value to the political culture. And I think the world was really unfair towards him because he, he was like this bad student that, <laughs> that he really just labeled bad student and he couldn't do anything right. He was like, little Joe, okay, so what is two plus two? Like when the teacher asks him. This is just a theoretical something. But so, okay, like, little Joe, what is uh, two plus two? Oh, it's uh, <laughs> three. Oh, no, little Joe is four. But it's okay. You will learn next time. Donald. Yes. What is three plus three? Five. You are stupid. You didn't learn again. I told that you are going to be like this. You are not good for this class. Get out. So this is, I think, how the mainstream media and, and also this, uh, the common opinion handled Trump. And for, for most of the reasons it was unfair, that's what I think. Like he, he did, he did have fuck ups, of course he did. So like he, well, how he handled, for example, COVID, was not not the best, not the best. 
but he fucked up mostly the same way that other leaders fucked up, you know, just not taking the whole thing very seriously and not really preparing for it at all. And yeah, with the American healthcare system, you know, not even Barack Obama and I don't know, Ronald Reagan combined could have handled this situation. That's that's 100% sure. So yeah, these are my thoughts regarding Trump and Biden. And I'm also thinking, does it really matter? Because in the end, you know, there are just really things that, that I don't really understand. Like, for example, if you wanted to attack Biden, why don't you bring up the, the pedophile stuff that was against him? Like, he was allegedly on an island of a pedophile, of a proven pe pedophile. And it's proven that, that Biden was on his island, but no one gives a shit in the campaign. How come? And that was in Joe Rogan's podcast that there were a lot of children found, I think a couple of weeks or maybe two, three months ago. And no one gave a shit. It wasn't even news in the media. How come? What is in the background? Like, does it really matter who is the US president? Like, of course, for us, Trump was maybe better for us Europeans, especially Eastern Europeans, because he wasn't so confrontative with the Russians. He also solved the ISIS problem with the help of Russia, of course. But this thing seems to be like a huge, huge plot. And I have no idea what people or anybody is plotting for or against, but this is just not right. You know, like Biden wrote the the bill, which one, which is the bill of uh, the Patriotic Act. Yes, he wrote it. That was um, then uh, uh, put into law in 2001. So what the fuck is going on? I, I don't understand. I don't understand what's going on behind the scenes in U.S. politics. And maybe I have some little sentiments for Trump, although I would not vote for him. But in the end, it's just complete mess from what I can see. I don't know. What do you think? What, what is behind? What is behind US politics? And what, what could be the big picture? Let me know.